check it out. Which one? guys this is traintough.com that's where you're at and we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, this foam rolling um, recovery uh, movement or exercises whatever you want to call them call it whatever you want doesn't matter um, but yeah we're gonna we're gonna mess with the foam roll I've got various movements to show you guys uh, this is gonna help with injury prevention surgeries down the road this is something that you gotta do you gotta implement this into your program um, I'm always doing it after a workout Especially like you know your, your tight muscles and things like that after you're done training it just you know what I'm talking about So you really want to take care of that and this is how to do it with the foam roll you can hit it up before a workout If you want depending on but definitely always after so uh, let's get at it and uh, Tear it up man. Here we go Foam roll. This one's squishy. It's actually a piece of junk, but I got better ones. But this is the only one I had around today, so I'm going to show you just the uh, basic movements. Always start at the calves. That's what I do. And you want to hit these. You want to hit back and forth these passes as many times as you feel necessary. So don't pick on a. You know, don't say five or ten, but hit on hit on them in, until your muscle. You know, until that, that area feels not as tight or that pain decreases. Bugs out here. So I go two legs, I go one leg, pick on the calf. You hit the side of the calf by just turning your body, hitting all those areas right in there. You want to hit all those and then go up to the hamstrings. And then right up to the glute. If I start right, if I start with my right leg, prop it over my left knee and lean on that right side. Remember, hit these until that pain, that those areas, those knots and everything are knocked out or go away. I feel one right there. And it doesn't feel very good. Other side. Okay, good. So now we hit the calves, the quad, uh, the hamstrings, the glutes. Let's turn around, and hit the quads. Okay, the IT band the side of your leg. This one is probably the most painful. You got to get it rolled out though. Other side. Okay, from there I hit the lower back. You want to make sure you stay on the right or the left side. Don't go in the middle. 
If you get that side, to hit that side, you just gotta kick your hips from the right to the left and expose that lower back musculature. Director Spinet, without getting too crazy kinesiology on you. Again, I just hit these sides until, you know, I feel that pain decrease because you're going to feel that it's going to hurt. That's because it's tight. You're really tight, bound up. You got some knots in there that need to pop out. Make sure you get them all. And then I go from that to the middle of my back. I hit the middle, I hit the right side, I'll hit the left side, I'll go back to the middle, you'll feel knots in there, it's going to feel pretty good that back, but you're going to feel some things in there that need to be worked on, so just stay on them until they go away or until that pain decreases. I'll even go right here right in between get that in your arm get the foam roller in your armpit and all you're gonna do is just slightly lean back you'll feel that you'll feel right where it's at because it's gonna hurt and then you're just gonna roll that area out same thing with the other side So that's just a basic general foam rolling uh, te techniques there. If, if that's what you want to call them, we'll call them that. Or movements. Basically the idea is just to get it done. So um, you can take a lacrosse ball and get all the little stuff. But if you're not used to this, starting out on the, the bigger foam roll, that thing is going to crush it. It's painful. But that's the idea, just to get all those knots out so you can move better, function better, you can become stronger, you know, your, your body's more mobile. So hit those up, guys, and uh, it's just another thing for recovery, um, a piece of the pie. So good stuff. We'll see you next round.